here we are in the middle of a eucalypt forest in southwestern Australia. Right now, the most abundant plant in flower is the Mary or Corimbia calophylla. We can see flowers, buds, and also all the fruits. Even though the Mary is quite dominant, there are other species of eucalypts in flower right now. Look at the buds of this species. Are extremely spectacular, aren't they? The flowers produce a nectar, which is contained in the flower cup. Sometimes you can see the nectar reflecting the sun rays. Hello everybody, we are in King's Park, in the middle of an eucalypts forest. Eucalypts are an iconic forest trees. They cover three quarters of the total native forest area in Australia. The term eucalypt includes approximately 900 species. The majority of them are evergreen and native to Australia. Their leaves are rich in essential oils and are well known for the usage in aromatherapy. Now I tell you another thing. Aboriginal people have traditionally used many parts of eucalypts. For example, from the leaves they used the essential oils, which have medicinal properties. From the sap they made an adhesive resin, and from the bark and the wood they, for example, produced tools. But let's turn it back on the nectar. The nectar is used and produced by the plant for attracting the insects or other pollinators. What generally contains the nectar are sugars, but also there are essential oils, which are volatile compounds very useful for attracting the pollinators. The nectar is so important for the pollinators because of the sugars, so the energy that the pollinators can receive from visiting the plants, but also is important for the water content. In fact, in this period, we have no rains and the water, the presence of water, is so important for maintaining the functionality of pollinators. Now I want to taste the nectar from a flower of Mary. Mm, sweet, but also rich in essential oils. Mm. These plants, the Mary, are so important. They are crucial for the balance of the ecosystem and also so important for the sweet products that all we love, the honey.